Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to use the Rainforest After Darks palette to do this eye look. These colors are really pretty to blend. Um, I used a, all of the browns and um, some of the purplish colors to create this look. So if you wanna see how I pulled together this palette for this look, stay tuned. Let's get started. We're gonna start with this beautiful color. It's called Champagne. It actually is probably meant to be a highlighter, but I love this color. So we're gonna sweep this all along the eye from the lash line to the brow. And we're gonna use this as a base to blend from. I do have an eye primer on, but I always like putting one solid light color to help with blending later. Next, we're gonna go in with Tangled Up In You. So this is just a nice tan color. Um, we're gonna use this kind of in our crease and up for the transition. It just helps brighten and lighten as we mix some shades together. I, I do love this as a transition color. It's just so nice and neutral and absolutely beautiful. We're gonna use the windshield wiper motions to put this on. So again, we're gonna put it in the crease and then we're gonna go in the outer V. This sets us up to use darker colors to blend into in just a moment. I absolutely love, love, love this brown. It's called Don't Turn a Brown. And this brown just went on really nice. I like to use circular motions and this is in the outer V. It built, the color build built really nice. I can't speak today and I've already re-recorded a few times. Anyways, um, this brown builds very, very nice and is just an absolutely beautiful color. A true brown that doesn't have a lot of undertones of other colors. Again, I really like these, this palette for a nice neutral eye look. I'm gonna take my Morphe brush and I'm gonna blend the two colors in, or really three colors. I'm gonna blend the Champagne, the Tangled, and the Don't Turn a Brown, just to give it a little bit more of a softened look and less harsh. When in doubt, blend. I'm gonna take a flat brush next and I'm gonna go in with this beautiful plum color and it's actually called Plum Away With Me. I will take this on the outer third of the eye just to kind of brighten the browns and blend it in. It just gives a little bit more dimension to the browns and makes it more interesting. I will go back in with my Morphe brush and once again blend all the colors together to give it a nice cohesive look. Next is Makeup Geek, and this color is in Royal. So I'm going to take Royal and put this along the lash line. I wanted to basically highlight the plum that we used on top in the outer third of my eye and bring those plums underneath. And we are going to make this a smoky plum look. I will take my favorite L'Oreal liner, and this is in a dark brown. I will line the inner waterline on both eyes, because we wouldn't just leave one. And we're gonna get ready to smoke this out. Going back in with the plum, and this is on a pencil brush. I'm gonna go right over the top of Makeup Geek's Royal, blending on the lower lash line and bringing 
in some of that brown to give it just a nicer blended look instead of a very harsh look. I'm going to take this beautiful color by Makeup Geek called Orchid and that is going to just brighten the inner corner waterline and then I'm going to very carefully go under what I just smoked out to just brighten that lower lash line a little bit more and this orchid is gorgeous. I'm going to go back in with my Revlon in it's actually Espresso. It's number 173. And I'm going to work on my upper lash line, giving a nice, sharp line. I always like using a full eyeliner on the top eye eyelid. And I still can't talk. My eyeliner seems to take forever, so bear with me as I am working my way first from the outer corner in, and then I go from the inner corner out so that product has been removed off the brush, which makes the inner corner not be so clumpy. To add a little bit more sparkle and shine, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Moon Dust, and I'm taking Magnetic and going right over the top of the Plum and the Makeup Geeks eyeliner in Royal and Orchid. Prepping my eyes for falsies, I'm just going to dot some false eyelash glue on and we are going to let that get tacky as my false eyelashes start to set up. While that is drying, I'm going to take my Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is in a waterproof for my lower lash line. I tend to get a little oily throughout the day, so I find that using the lower lash line, making it waterproof, is better. And of course, I get mascara everywhere. I don't think I can put mascara on without getting it on my face. Okay, so, story of my life. Just tough with the mascara. Well, we're going to pop on some beautiful falsies. These are from Ardell. Ardell seems to be really my favorite or go-to. They're easy to use. They've got a nice shape. They don't look like false eyelashes when you have them on. They just look like you have beautiful full lashes. So we're going to push those into place. Then we're going to take one of my other favorite mascaras, and this is the Charlotte Tillsbury Legendary Lashes. Luckily, I'm not adding another black dot to my face. For some reason, I did much better on the upper lashes than I did on the bottom. You're probably wondering why I'm leaving that black dot on. I'm giving it an opportunity to dry, so as I try to pull it off, it doesn't smear across my makeup, because there's nothing worse than getting a black streak across your makeup. I'm going to go in with my tweezers and pluck off as much that has dried, but it was a big clump, and usually I can just pull it pop it right off, but this didn't fully dry, so I'm going to take a Q-tip and just roll that across where the remaining bit of lower mascara was. I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and just do a little bit of patchwork. A little bit of Bondo and Crack Spackle never hurt. Yay! So I did like how this eye look turned out. The layering of the purples just looked absolutely beautiful. And that winky was for my sister. Love ya! We want to thank you for joining today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or consider subscribing. Or if you've already subscribed, please consider referring me to a friend. Thank you so much for watching and always make it a beautiful day.